I thought <laughs> this is a real problem for CBS and for and for Les Moonves. And the thing that really struck me was that the board of directors, which is appointed by Moonves, which is loyal to Moonves, before the article even appears, before there's reaction to the article, they announce that they're going to investigate. That's a sign of weakness on the for for Les Moonves. You don't you don't so think that. I think I'm sorry. I'm sorry. As a journalist, I am assuming the board had access to a lot of the article in advance before it comes out so they can actually comment on it, right? I mean, the timing... They didn't have, they didn't have access to the article. I think what they had access to is, I suspect what happened is that Moonves, who was being called, it was issuing, actually issued a statement very late to The New Yorker. They waited till till Friday morning to close the piece. Normally, they close it by Thursday night. I suspect what happened is he disclosed to the board what he said and what the article was was going to allege and and that's what they acted on but it's it's it is remarkable that the board would take that action without actually having read the article hey so ken so so the board's going to meet today they've already announced that they're going to uh, initiate um, an investigation do you believe that or how would you handicap the possibility that he is effectively suspended during the period with which this investigation, which I imagine will take weeks, if not months, to take place? I don't know whether, they'll, whether he'll step down, step aside during the investigation, or, or the board will compel him to. Uh, I do know this. It weakens him, and it strengthens Sherry Redstone in their battle. Um, if she wants to replace him at some point, uh, the odds are that she has more leverage to do that now. Right. And, and if she wishes to, to merge Viacom and CBS, the odds are that she has more leverage to do that now. And, and Mubez had opposed both. Ken, we were having this conversation during, during the, the 6 o'clock hour, um, which was this. The idea that many of the allegations in the article, clearly on the record um, in the piece, uh, but a number of them took place 20 years ago. And how you think that boards are supposed to look at this type of conduct or alleged misconduct, given the timing, and how you would compare that to some of the other allegations of other men more recently? Look, it, it's, it, it is a, a basic question, but there is today a, a fever about this, and I don't mean this in a negative way. People are concerned about male abuse of power. And, and, and if, in fact, Les Mumbes did what they claimed he did in the 80s and the 90s, and there was an example of, of in the 2000s as well, where he, he not only accosted women, allegedly, but threatened them or fired them because they denied his, his advances, that's a serious charge. And it's very hard in this climate, to, to even if it's 20 years old, to say, hey, let bygones be bygones. And I know he's got support and... and and public support from women executives who are respected at CBS. But it's a, it's a real, it, it raises issues about his behavior that can't be denied. Ken, one of the issues that, that Andrew raised earlier as well uh, is one of the chief risks for CBS, even if, if Moonves stays, uh, is the issue of creatives not wanting to potentially work with CBS anymore, producers, directors, actors, actresses, etc. There, there is, a, again, the fever, with, with, it, that gets back to the fever question. People are very concerned. Uh, I mean, I know male executives who don't meet alone in, in, in the office with, with the female uh, because they're afraid of, of it, 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 this is all very unsettling to, to behavior. And, and, and in many ways, it's a very good thing that it's unsettling to behavior, but it does distort behavior. And the other thing that, that's worth noting, there is no more successful modern television executive than Les Moonves. They've been number one in prime time for, I think it's 14 out of 16 years. I mean, he's an extraordinarily good creative executive. But if he, if he misbehaved, and if there's a culture issue, which is the other thing the board is looking at, um, if there's a culture issue at CBS where they, they condone male behavior that shouldn't be condoned, it's, it's a real mark against them. Yeah, 